We've seen how to add and subtract and multiply, and we've considered floor division and regular division. Now we want to talk about a couple of remaining arithmetic operations. In this video, we'll consider exponentiation. And in Python, we realize exponentiation by writing two asterisks in a row. So if we want to square the number 3, we write the base, which is 3, two asterisks, and then if we're interested in squaring it, the exponent would be 2, and hitting return now, we get 9. Either the base or the exponent, or both, can be floats. So let's say we want to calculate the square root of 3 rather than square 3. In that case, we'd take 3 and raise it to the 1 half power, or 0 0.5. Hitting return, there we get the square root of 3. Now, there is a square root function available in Python, but to access that, we have to import what's called a math module and we won't worry about that right now. We'll talk about modules later. Okay, now let's consider this. Let's write 4, the exponentiation operator, 3, the exponentiation operator, and then 2. And now, what is that? Um, we have a couple of different ways of thinking about that. If we evaluate this expression from left to right, we would get 4 cubed, so that's 4 times 4 times 4, that would be 64, and then we would be squaring that, and that is equal to 4096. But what if we started from the right-hand side evaluating this? In other words, how about if we had 4, and we were raising that to the 3 squared power? So that would be 9, and that's a much larger number. That's 262,144. So, which is it? Okay, hitting return, we'll get our answer, and we see that, oh, it's 262,144. So this was actually evaluated right to left. Uh, I'm putting parentheses in there to demonstrate this a little bit more clearly. If we take 3 and square that, and then that is the exponent of 4, we get the same result. Unlike addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, when it comes to exponentiation, that's actually evaluated right to left. One other thing to note about exponentiation is it's the arithmetic operator with the highest precedence, so higher precedence than multiplication or division, and by extension higher than addition and subtraction, and to illustrate that, let's take 4 raised to the third power, and let's multiply that by 2. So is this 4 to the sixth power, or is this 4 to the third power, which is 64 times 2, and that'd be 128. So hitting return, oh, we get 128. So to illustrate what this is equivalent to, we can just put the parentheses around the exponentiation, we get the same result. If we truly wanted to multiply the exponent by 2, we could take parentheses and just enclose that multiplication, and then we get the 4096, which is 4 to the 6th power. Okay, you certainly knew about exponentiation already, so what's new here is perhaps the symbol that's used within Python, the double asterisk and the fact that it's evaluated right to left when we have multiple exponentiations, and a reminder about precedence, that it has the highest order of precedence. In the next video, though, we'll consider an arithmetic function that probably isn't so familiar to you, and may even be completely new to you.